Oh, I get to redo the, I get to redo the upgrades. Okay, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna redo it and see if I'm able to like, and then I'll see how it helps me. Okay. All right, let's see. What is this place? Everything is a blur. All right, it looks like my, it looks like my, um, okay, it took my, um, leveling up took this time. Cool. I don't know if it'll help me discover anything new, but if it does, I will add that to the bonus. Well, now what? Fortunately, I've already done all of this, so... Okay, I just want to make it clear that I'm not going to redo every scene to get all the alternatives that I missed, but this one I really want to do. <laughs> this one I really want to do, I really care about, so that's the only reason I'm redoing it. And I think if there are any other ones where it's like, oh, this is an alternative thing you could have done, and it's like really, really cool, or like really interesting, or it's just something that I truly want to do, that I will do that. But in general, generally speaking, I will accept the consequences of most of my actions. If it's like, particularly if it's like a decision-based action, like I was fully aware of what I, what the consequences were, and I still made that decision. Kind of like with Journey, I do sometimes question if I made the right choice, but I'm not gonna go back on that because I was aware of my options and I made a choice. This one I didn't realize I could, and it matters to me, so that's the reason why I'm redoing it. But this isn't gonna be like a what's that doing here? Always. Thing. You shouldn't have come here. What the hell? Goddamn. I should be able to do this. I have education. A coin? What's that doing here? I had these. Why did they disappear? Okay, so it wasn't that I messed up at some point. They like just vanish. Oh, there's a modifier. What's the modifier? Can't be used in dialogue, can't be used in exploration. Oh. The first one I'm aware. Yeah, no, there is a there's a minus five modifier on both of these, and that's why I can't use them. So it's not that I didn't update them, it's that I lost them. What caused the modifier? To show Um, minus one of willpower. Um, maybe the traits? Did I gain a bad trait? Oh, okay. Okay. Amnesia. Temporary trait. A strange feeling of emptiness comes over Mam as she wakes up in this strange place. Many of her memories seem to have disappeared along with her knowledge. Knowledge ratings are reduced to zero. I see. So it wasn't that the game fucked up. I just, I literally, um, I'm literally dealing with the consequences of a trait that I didn't even realize that I had. Alright. But that means once I, because I know I get, the amnesia modifier disappears after I get the sixth memory. So that means I could come back down here and learn about that coin if I wanted to. There are a few things I can't learn about because it's like like the cell, for example. Actually, no. With the plus one, I should be able to learn about the cell doors. So once I get that sixth Come one, on, I can, can go back it. and learn about them if I really want to. So I think I'm going to do that. I gotta remember, don't hit seven or I'll kill him. <coughs> he just walked up on him and just did. Got it. I'm gonna do everything almost the same way I did the last one. Let's see what that did. Mm -hmm. A scout. I 
I guess what he Deneb said earlier explains why no one's trying to get out. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, I, I told her not to squeeze so hard, but she didn't listen. Poor oh. little bird. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So she murdered a bird. Mm -hmm. Let me look up Morgana. I was right. Okay. I was right. Morgana is um Morgana Le Fay. Yeah, a Thorian legend. So I was right about it being King Arthur. I mixed it up with Morgan, which I'm pretty sure is Dragon Age. <laughs> okay, let me just finish with the memories first. And then I will figure out how to get to the um Actually, I'm going to finish memories first. I'm going to go back and use my knowledge traits to like learn shit and then what am i doing oh inventory and then i'll try to figure out how to find what's his face um jump 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 oh girl don't do that at least let me drink <laughs> don't, don't do that oh i lost amnesia Oh good, this is good. That means I can start like learning shit now. It's like Deb. I'd rather do without it if I don't need it. Yuck. I don't even want to touch that. Oh, so now you're all of a sudden too good for some shit. I wonder girl. how long he's been there. Well until you're starving again, I'm gonna make you eat that rat. Talking about some I'd rather if I don't have to. Bitch, you better drink. Glug glug. Fuck you! She's killing it. A man's voice actor. I mean, My both mouth, of them are actually please, killing it. Leave me alone! Just, Don't I believe it. Touch me. I just want to protect you. It's fucking you emotional as fuck. That. I mean, doesn't make sense to blame a I victim. Swear to God, shut up! Or just what happened to them? Shut the fuck up! I'm out of here. Still, I don't support DB. I never <laughs> want to see you again. A man, you shouldn't have pushed her. That wasn't cool. I... This right here is gonna get me. Well. This page is monetized anyway. <laughs> so if I sure? were monetized, this right here would yes. get me demonetized. While I'm oh, still very much unmonetized, let me Look take advantage me. of um, being able to get away with shit that monetized people can't get away with. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, she's really going at it. Oh my, oh my God. gosh, Hilda. Hilda's like, I've been doing this for centuries. I'm a fucking yes. pro. Oh, yes. Go off, voice actress. <laughs> I'm a pervert. <laughs> I've been. I'm guessing the way. Okay, can I do this now? Finally, let's go. There's something weird about this coin, like an aura. It must have been used for a ritual. Can I take it? Nice. You never know. It could come in handy. It allows you to communicate. They used to communicate with a vampire who is in torpor. <gasps> torpor. Like a coma? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All of these that I read before. Let me just click on them and get through them again. I think I did Sire a Child. Memory magic, the beckoning. I did a mask, but I'm gonna leave that one for now. And then the embrace, and also that the beast. Torpor. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that, like, I was incapable of. Uh, fuck it. I don't. Uh, I think that was the main one. I've never seen anything like I read something about one of the kindreds, maybe? I don't. I'm not sure. Being in cell number three in a coma. But I also read that he was executed, so that's why I'm just like, he would be gone, wouldn't he? Let me, let me, I, I can't help it, I'm curious. Let me go back to cell number three and see what happens. I oh! wonder how long he's been there. Holy shit. Punished. Shouldn't have. Too late. I thought they executed him. Experiments. Oh my god. Shouldn't have. Shit, that was scary. Is that it? Punished. 
Okay. Does he drink the experiments about him? Poor thing. I thought they executed him. That's why I thought this was just a corpse. Shit, that was scary. They butchered him so badly that he's in torpor. That's what'll happen to me if I don't get out of here soon. Oh. I'm so glad I came back. <laughs> I was already sitting there like, mm. I made the right choice. It sounds like that can't be used again. How do I get to the fifth level? I will not be thwarted. I will save the Nosferatu. That note did say, look at the thing on the floor to help you. Hm. All right. Did I do it? Oh shit, I did it. Whoa. That note did say, like, look at the pedestal for, like, help or whatever. Did I not do it? Let me see something, actually. Does each one of those has a rune on by the pedestal? Each floor has that. So what happens if I go to each of those? Let's see. Okay, so this one is like a diamond. Is that it? That's it. It's like a diamond in a square. Let's see what that gets me. Huh. Diamond in a square. Okay, I did number, what should we call it, the last one, so this should be the, let me, let me, is that this one? No, I think it's this one. Okay, circular triangle, that's really the real question here. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> it's Volgar! <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I uh, solved the puzzle. I'm coming, Nosferatu prisoner. Hold on tight. I wonder if this will affect my ability to negotiate with the Neb. Or will they just like not know he's missing until after I have the conversation? We will see, we will see. Guess we will see. Holy fuck. Shit. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. He has his nose. What do I do? Um, don't touch anything I right best now. not touch that. Let's uh, look around a bit. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can. Just in case. Okay. Looks like there's only really one thing to do, and that is to erase the symbol. Like, how is this magic? You know what? If I break that. Will the blood just fall? Oh, fuck. Is that his blood? Or is it blood that they used to feed him or something? Either way, it's freaky. That's what it is. I don't like that. These fucking 
Tremere warlocks are in, are just yo. I know I was a Tremere in bloodlines, but now I'm really starting okay? to side eye my clan, my old clan. Yeah, you got a lot of warts on your face, dude. No, wait! Oh, this nigga just leave? You could have said something, jeez. What was that? He just left. Bro, I risked a lot to just save you just to save you just now. Nobody, not even Amem, can say why she decided to free the prisoner. Powerful ally or formidable enemy. This will torment Amem for nights to come. Oh, I lost r rhetoric and I gained psychology. It's fine. I'm more into psychology anyway. My thing is this though, right? I went through a lot to save you and this may have screwed up my chances later on. I don't know how this will affect my ability to convince the uh, fucking warlocks to side with me, but I risked a lot to save you just now. You could have said something. Who were you? Fucking disrespectful ass bitch. Let's just go. Whoa. Oh, my head. I told you. Oh my god. I would be your This is completely different. I didn't I wasn't expecting this. I was just trying to be a hero. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh. What? Oh. You've done. Oh my god. Just desserts for the weekend. Come back here. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Shit. Hazel's gonna be pissed. I was not expecting a completely different ending. was ex um i was expecting to free him then go on about the rest of it as if nothing had happened and then maybe later on meet him and then be like hey what's up he'd be like yo thanks for saving me that was cool i was just trying to be a hero i wasn't because i mean in bloodlines there, there was an Elsferatu that got kidnapped and I rescued him and I really liked doing that. I thought that was super fun. So I was like, I'm going to do the same thing here because I don't like, I don't like prisoners. I don't like people being imprisoned against their will. And to be honest with you, I don't really like the Hartford Chantry based on the way they be experimenting on folks. They don't seem like good people. I mean, I already figured so much of this game and Kindred in general are very gray in that they're less worried about what's morally right and more like what's going to help them and like in their means so I, I like as much as i didn't like what they were doing i wasn't going to like change anything because you know still the the machine just continues to play i didn't think that was going to completely alter the ending and here's the problem right because i did that on my original save as opposed to a new save for me to get the original ending that i had prior I, I can't do it anyway like okay so that didn't matter i have no choice this is i'd have to start over if i did a different slot for me to get the original engine that, ending that i had before this bonus episode I will have to I would have to redo that entire thing again and this time choose not to save the prisoner. The only reason I went back was because I was just trying to help somebody. Cause I if I was in his position as someone and I'd been like and someone had kidnapped me and I, I would want someone to help me and you know it's good to treat people like you would want to be treated and stuff. But I am I I don't know what to do. The other people that were captured, I couldn't do anything about them. 
um, experiment number 132. Can't do anything about him, but now that the entire fucking Hartford Chantry is dead, I'm sure that person will probably make their way out. But I could save the Nosferatu in the penthouse, and I chose to do that. And I'm not going to go, I'm not going to renege on that. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to go about things the way I would have otherwise done them because that was a doubt. Like I said, I don't want to go back on my choices when I'm given two options. I'm, I have the, I have the option to save him and I went back and decided to do that. And so I'm going to stick with that. This man didn't say a word within seconds. How power, who is this person? How powerful must he be? to show up and wipe everybody out. Like he killed everybody single-handedly. That's a different kind of strength and I'm hoping that he's on my side because I saved him because whoa. So there I was, sitting down, editing, you know, and reliving the shock and the, you know, just enjoying the vibes. And I realized that he, man's only said two words, two words. He only said two lines and they went by quick and I was distracted by the massacre I just become witness to. So I didn't catch it, but I did this time while I was editing. That was Kurt. I don't remember his last name. Doesn't really matter. His first name was Kurt. Kurt as in K, as in Dorori's partner, as in the woman, the chief security who I believe to be responsible for this, or I suspect to have some kind of responsibility in, in this whole thing. That's Kurt, her partner. Fucking hell. And I remember reading that he had disappeared a while ago, and she wouldn't, she wanted to know where he was, but she, she stayed where she was because she didn't want to ruin her like cover or anything like that, but she was super worried about him. I just found her mans, and I owe him an apology because I definitely suggested that perhaps he'd come back and was whispering in her ear and convinced her to do bad things. Um, clearly not. He was not in a position to be whispering to anyone. Mans was fucked. He was very busy being, you know, a captured victim. But anyways, that was Kurt. Whoa! Okay. We just found Kurt, and hopefully the fact that we found him will be a benefit in the future. I don't... I, I can't even, like, make any assumptions or any guesses as to what this will mean for the story at hand. But that was Kurt. There was a lot there, and I, I liked it. Anyways. Alright, bye!